it's time to say goodbye to Venice. Bye, Venice. It's been a very pretty place. We made, we met some interesting people. Some, we made some friends, and now we're going to Germany. What a twist! Is this still Italy? Yes, it is, but only just. We're on the border of Austria. It really is suddenly so not Italian. I got some meat from the meat shop. It says it's 100% Italian, but the woman that sold it to me spoke German, which makes it culturally ambiguous. Nom nom nom. We think this is where we're going to bask tomorrow. Let's hope the uh, German police are more chill. Here is our first German beer, 12.6%. Prost. Prost. Wow. I thought it would taste like Guinness or something. Right. But it, it tastes lighter. We like Munich so far. Delicious giant meal. German meal. What was it called again? Jagensplagen Mahagen Bagen. Hello, we are off to bask in where are we again? Munich. Matt has just discovered that we are pretty much exactly halfway through our trip, which is mental. Post busk thoughts. I loved it. I love busking in Munich. I had a good time. I feel like I'm sounding like I'm not. I did. I really did. <laughs> Thomas, Clyde is on and it's bustling. So we're gonna meet some people and eat some food and go around some stalls. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka. Yeah. It's terrifying. It's so weird. Everyone's in an awe about it. We're at Pride. Munich Pride. We're getting free sweets and free buttons and things from each stall. Proper German bratwurst. It looks like a normal sausage. Let's see what it tastes like. It tastes like a very good quality sausage. Oh, oh, oh. Curry burst. It's curry sausage, but it's German. Beer! Also German. <laughs> We realize we're in the very unique situation of we are pissed in Munich with the urgent need to get on a train to Berlin to give a spiritual stone to a New Yorker <laughs> who we met in Rome. But we've got to get through the fucking hive of Munich Pride before we get so we can get on a train to Berlin. Got it! We're gonna get you your stone, Mahe! No matter what it takes! Germany is a different thing to romantic Europe, which we've only done so far. We're only halfway there. <laughs> Fuck. Now I've sat down and started to feel real dizzy. I got a lighter. I got a lanyard. And I also got a Drum roll, please. I also got a. I guess I didn't. You got a condom. No, 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 don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. You got a condom. I guess I... What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Let's record the segment of what's going into train now. Ready? Okay. Ooh, nice train. We made it to the train that's going to take us to Berlin from Munich. It was a little bit of a rush, but... Um, we were overreacting. Hello, mate. You're not. Don't worry. This is the train to Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's come back. He was like, oh shit. <laughs> shit, wrong train. <laughs> I meant. <laughs>
Gesundheit. That's German food, bless you. Berlin. The city of dreams. Bit of Berlin for you folks at home. Looks like um looks like a city to me. We've been told by a nice man that the best place in around here to busk is a place called Muse Museum Incel, which means Museum Island. I guess there's loads of museums there. Zoom, big tower, fancy buildings, nice fountain, handsome young man with a guitar. What could possibly happen next? Went well? Went really well. I really like Berlin. Yeah, me too. One man gave us a tenner, which is really nice. Real German press. Cheers. Dos. There's your stone, the hay. We're gonna get it back to you. Look who we've bumped into. Very it's the one and only Mahe. Hi. Yes, hello everyone. It's good to see you all out there. <laughs> Journeying all around Europe. Uh, I was in Rome where I met these wonderful guys right here. And then I went off to Paris and I met, guess what? I met somebody with my exact, almost my exact name. Did you see that? And how many people are called Mahe? Yeah, and I went to Maastricht, a beautiful city in Maastricht. Uh, it's in uh, the Netherlands, and it's just a lovely city. If you ever go there, it's uh, built in the 12th, the, in the 13th century. 13th century, these wonderful narrow streets. Um, the food is there is great, and and then from there I went to here to Berlin, and I rode a train all night. And tomorrow I'm going to Milan. But the reason, of course, the reason, the number one reason. Wait for it. The number one reason that, dun, dun, dun. that I came here is because when I was in Rome, I, I left something behind that's very precious to me. This is a stone that my friend Edie in New York hand painted it and I was whole heartbroken. I was heartbroken that I had lost it. But lo and behold, guess who found it? Um, and well, it was given to them by the the owner of the hostel. Yeah. Just as we were leaving, you like like an afterthought. It was so close to him not really? mentioning it. So yeah. Um, and and because of asking questions, we were, we weren't where I thought we would be, but it was just a matter of asking questions. Then bingo, I said, you're gonna be in Berlin, and boom, you're Here in Berlin. Here is. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Your flow of grace. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So I will, I will try, I now have my, my stone. I now put my stone oh. back. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Wait a minute. Here it, no, here, it here it is. I'm gonna always put it in the same spot. Right. Yeah. Always here. So I always know where it is. Alright. All this right. is my hand will they do scribe of ice and stone of broad walking in perfect grace in Berlin. Here we have the Brandenburg so, Gate. So, so Napoleon took which part of it? The top bit. Oh. Napoleon took it back to Isgaf and then eight years later they took it back. Yeah, you should be like Socrates and get killed for it. Well, remember so Socrates voluntarily took that. They were saying, so they were like, Socrates, we got our chariot in the back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the memorial of the murdered Jews. It's like a maze. Whoa, who's that silly boy? Oh, he's gone. Must have been the wind. It's like slender. We just said goodbye to Mahe. I'm also saying goodbye to Germany. It has served as well. It's been a lovely time. So I, mean, I haven't vlogged that much of Germany, I feel like. Much love to you, my friends. We'll see you soon, I think. We will, we'll see you in Bristol. Yeah, yeah, we will. And next stop is Copenhagen. What's in store in Denmark? I have no idea. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>